Sorry, lost baby girl. I didn't practice, it just came. The album uh, came with the movie. The first project was the movie. I wrote it, the, the, the soundtracks for the movie. That's why Darkroom uh, came later. I spent very, uh, a very hard moment in my life after the divorce from my wife. So I found a job as a gardener in the, in, the, in the north of Italy. I didn't make a custom because they straight away they choose me. They just called my agency even although I wasn't you know, working as an actor anymore. So my agent just called me and he's like, listen, there's this project you know, from, um, from Poland. I did hesitate because when they asked me, I was like, um, no, I don't want to do it. But then after the director, Toma, Tomek, called me and he's like, listen, I want you, for real. I'm going to get you a ticket, come to Poland. I'm like, you know what, I come. There was all of the producer of the movie, all of the um, publishers and, and people, and that's it, I got, I got the part, you know. Uh, when I've got the part, when I've got the script, I quickly understood that this character was, you know, had <laughs> these issues with sex, you know. So I was gonna act someone who has sex addiction. I went to uh, a community that helps this kind of people, and I was talking with a guy, before, right before starting the shooting. And it was so interesting to understand how sex is inside their mind. This constantly, you know, constantly. So I tried to, you know, mix sex addict, uh, sex addict with mafia, with, uh, you know, strong men, with money. So this was, you know, my challenge. Someone, play someone who's totally different from me. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> Sometimes it happens. But I, I think that most of the time, fans, they totally understand who I am, for real. Uh, I didn't have problem with sex. I didn't have money. I wasn't from a mafia family, you know what I mean? So Massimo is totally different from me, you know. Once I was in Poland, I was doing an interview there in Warsaw, and I came back in the hotel and there was a guy who wanted to ask me for a picture or an autograph or something. It just, you know, Thing. And I'm like, wow, no, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, so we called the ambulance, you know, there, there was a doctor, and I, and I was trying to kind of help him, you know, because I felt bad, you know. It, it wasn't my fault, of course, but I remember it was such a weird thing, you know. At the beginning, it was not awkward, but we were laughing so much because, for example, it was a Chuck Massimo, it was to kiss her. And then we start laughing because, you know, we're kind of friends, but then we, we had to do the job, you know, so we took it. I think that people, uh, they love this kind of, uh, you, know, really, you know, falling in love and sads, those kind of romantic relation. And it happens sometimes between actors that they fell in love, but it didn't happen to us because we're so good friends. Everyone has their own opinion and I am nobody to say what are you talking about is not right. So we live in a free world and I just have to listen the bad opinion and, and respect them. That's it. Oh yeah, 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 it's planned. We're gonna start shooting in May.